the ground into the sky out of the sky into the dirt Sir, should I call the police? Holy smokes, it's twenty twenty. How's it going, everyone? Jack here. Happy New Year, Happy Blade New Year. I hope you all had an amazing time, whether you were at home sat in the corner alone or you were out getting absolutely shit-faced until a couple days ago, whatever, or everywhere in between. I hope you had a fantastic time. Uh, my name's Jack, welcome to the channel. Tonight, we're gonna continue where we left off from last year. So we ended the year with a three hour endurance race um, in a set across the competizione. Um, where I was racing as part of the Paradigm Shift uh, race team uh, with my uh, good friends, the Jewel, Jewel Bergma, uh, Bergsmas, uh, the Jewel Bergsmas, the Jewel, the Jewel Andres, Andre Bergsma and Andre Mall. Uh, but tonight we've got another three hour race, only this time I'm running it solo, um, as everybody in this event is, uh, is going to be running solo. So, uh, yeah. Hola, Flat Cap, it's been a while, it is hanging well, my friend. Thank you for asking. How are you? How's all hanging with you, man? It uh, feels good to be back, man. It feels good to be uh, getting on with the first stream of the year, getting stuck into things properly. As of next week, we've got um, two first proper championships of the year uh, ran by RR Leagues. We've got uh, the WTCR Championship and the GT3 Masters Part 2. And they're going to be running on Wednesdays and Sundays every fortnight, starting next week, first round next week for both of those. Uh, but tonight, let's get back on topic. Tonight, hosted by RWB, three hours of GT1 and GT3 multi-class racing around Imola. It's going to be awfully good. That's good, man. What have you been up to, man, since New Year? Did you have a nice New Year? I don't know if I've spoken to you since New Year. I think I spoke to you after Christmas, but I haven't spoken to you... Uh, since in the year, I don't think. What's well, been up, man? Are you back at work or? Are you back at work soon? What's going on? And more importantly, is there any sign of you jumping back in the simulator anytime soon, Flat Cap? Um. Let's <laughs> let's crash straight into it. Jazz, how's it going, dude? Hope you're well, man. Uh, let's get ourselves over into this lobby. Pushed like magic. We are here. 
I'm going to jump into the RWB chat as well. It might be quite... These guys are a really nice bunch. I think they could be quite talkative though. So if you hear lots of talking from them, I apologize. Hopefully it'll be quite nice quiet during the race though. So you just have my Scottish dulcet tones to deal with. We'll learn a lot from this. Oof. All right, let me just check here. It looks as though we've got a couple of the Paradigm Shift crew in here tonight, actually. Should we say that if we manage uh, 30 finishes, there will be a random prize? Oh, there's going to be a random prize this evening. I think that's evening. a lovely idea, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll do a lucky dip prize if you can get over 30 finishers soon. Nice. So there we go. We got a full, a full lobby. Say if you finish, you get, you might, there's a chance you're going to be. Thirty-six people up in here. I believe we've got ah, fourteen yeah, well. yeah. GT1 uh, so, cars, well, and the rest will be GT3. Myself. So I'm driving a GT1. Chat's just posted trying to get in, but they can't join. Excuse me. Federico's. Uh, Ulrich, is it? No, I mean he's in. He's in though. He's in though. <laughs> Uh, I, had, I, I said to Frederico, uh, um, I also had to do it like one hour ago. Uh, my game also won't start. But oh, yeah, sorry, it, my bad. Does look like we've um, got a few of the Paradigm Shift crew. Now, I was trying to say. Obviously, the transitions. <gasps> if, if we lose a couple of people got in Peter transition, well, we're, we're not going to restart the race. It's, it's really, I know that shit. But it's just we have to be based on mass disconnect. So. But if anything goes wrong, we will work out a way around it. was okay, I had a wedding with my mate on New Year's Eve. How was that wedding, If man? any of you has been in practice years. for over an hour, now you should leave and rejoin. I need your meds for the knee, yeah, if we can get back in the race. And well, I wish you um, a, a recovery, man. And that knee, as always, want to have more people now, racing the merrier, anyway. including yourself, man. Miss uh, you. Just, if you're going to do it, do it quickly, because I don't nice want to end joining as we transition, because that might mess up. So five minutes so left in this time? practice five session. Minutes five minutes, yeah. yeah. About five minute warm up. All right, so we've got this five minute left in pra a practice for any session. Last minute questions. And uh, we've got a five minute warm up session before we jump straight into the race. There isn't going to uh, be I'm, I'm, a practice I'm session. What are we? Do I need to do a pit stop? Is there a pit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do I have to change all the tires? for this one? Can you read the rules? Five minutes uh, to go. Five minutes left. If you want, you can start the race and never take a pit stop. It's up to you. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think you'll finish. Exactly. Good luck with that shit. Few, few several level 9000, right? Um, this will be the first wee reminder. The first few laps, guys, Just and I know we're, we're repeating it and repeating it, but just is to try and break that racer default setting when you get started. Just settle yep. in. Uh, to the race, don't do anything silly, try to <coughs> steal places, it's just a terrible idea. Oh, great, right, God. Hurry, 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 hurry. Everything looks all right on the stream, looks so good, no nah, drop frames or so anything. Sounds seem all right. If you guys notice anything uh, funky uh, in the chat, same. let me know and I'll so try my best to address it in the next 10 minutes before the race starts. A lot of hot people are leaving and coming back. Yeah, I try and get back in so much and don't leave again. Some server lag, maybe. So yeah. No, I just got that. <laughs> uh, you got hey, Randy. Earlier. <laughs> Let's see you here, man. Thanks for joining in, dude. So. so yeah, these guys are a chatty bunch. I'm hoping they're gonna <laughs> chill out a little bit when the race starts. So we're just finishing the, the practice session here. We're gonna have a five-minute warm-up session in a to make sure everyone's in. And then uh, we're going to get on with the race. There's no practice, no, sorry, no qualifying session tonight because what we've done is everybody set a lap time on the time trial leaderboards and then they, their grip position have been set by the admins of the server for the uh, for where everybody starts. I'm starting, I think, four or five places from the back of the GT1 group, of which there are 14, so around about 10th position. Um, we're going to be doing a full we already manual to go. formation lap as well. So yeah. when the lights go green, we're not racing straight away. We're going to be doing a full formation lap. I believe is yeah. used for something like this. Yeah. Oh no! That's, That's, quite That's terrible, dude. To reality. <laughs> He's only affected again. Measure the the disability in my kidneys. So oh my god! Start now. It's getting too close to the bone. See if I get in first. So, uh, Pete's managed to get in. This is Pete here, Peter Hindle, our friend Snapper. Yeah. 
I'm driving in the vet. He was a reserve, but managed to get in. Uh, let's see if we can see any other of our, of our pals up in here. Sorry, I can't see now because my wheel's elevated. I can't see the bloody names. It, that's what I'm driving, by the way. I'm driving the Koenigsegg GT1. Goodness. That's my fella. I just know my arm's gonna hurt after this race. Yep. Down one click or two clicks. My right wrist feels like it's ready to fracture. <laughs> so it might be compensated. Can't find the. But all the Ricky 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 are going to be happy when they're coming into that woods because she won't be able to hatch them to death. <laughs> I've got a chainsaw. Safe for three hours. Yeah. You do good. a break, you do a bit of killing then just to calm yeah. the nerves. 15 minutes of it. So a couple of people oh, have yeah. jumped out, hopefully they'll get back in Maybe here. We do have a five minute warm up though. And a half. Might quickly so run that to the loo while that happens. Another oh, thing yeah. to mention during this uh, uh, during this race guys, uh, to bear in mind, there is a mandatory 15 minute break. So what you've got to do is you've got to stop in your pit box. To 60. Um, miles an hour then, 37. You've got to stop in your pit box and start a timer, which I have prepared. Boosh, right here. On zero. I'm just gonna... Just remember so guys, stop just follow boxes, the lead of whoever's tap the start, on pole. Get the timer on the go. Charge during the Wait until it hits 50 minutes, take a little break, have a stretch, you know, maybe have a little drink, oh, have a little a everything. <laughs> just go, to remind it's them GT1 Pop. guys, obviously you're starting ahead of us. So, I preferably only wanted to hear people calling out a crash. And that's it, just call out the crash yeah. and don't speak. Times so are pretty close. Guys About three and a half seconds difference, start. four seconds so difference the between chat, chat be the fastest GT1 and, and the fastest oh, GT2 definitely drivers. So there'll definitely be overlap. Um, definitely if be traffic. you get in an incident, you're allowed to call out to somebody that they've done something. That's as far as you can take it if there's a disagreement. I do not want to hear arguing during the race. And you'll get grumpy orders very quickly. Yeah, you the 50 minute break. It's actually quite common. Yeah, Five actually, quite a, quite a lot of. Uh, That's the end I've of the session. Done on headset. Yeah, the 50 minute break is actually well, quite well, a few clubs do utilise it, including um, um, RRVLN. Um, do it under longer, um, so the longer um, behind. races. So it's a good so idea. Yeah. On track, could they return to the pit? There'll be people joining oh, still. Go. That's it. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, man, it's not half time. Only well, it's going to be about two thirds nice. time. So we've got a five minute warm up here, guys. My station is okay. Now, bear with me. I'm going to go out and do a little sighting lap, a little warm up lap. Just remember, if you crash on the first lap, we'll be back. In a moment, I'll be right back. Bear with me. No matter what happens, guys, even the first lap, a bad one, keep going. It's a long, long race. Um, you know how you've got the first lap done? Penalties, do you have that? Sorry, I didn't hear that properly. Do you, do you have the, like, the first lap is double penalty? No. Oh. Okay, I was going to ask if it goes on for like the two laps or something. It would probably still be quite crazy. No. Beth just... Yeah, well, single file until the time she came. Either should just shout for him up or something, someone will just go to by two. Pole position is on the left, odds on the left. If you get out of position a bit, try and get it back, but it's not the end of the world. Um, it's more important we get to get in a good bucket. Is that a nervous wee? Uh, then another nervous wee. I've been <laughs> calm as fuck all the day. <laughs> If you do have a wee off in the outlap, in the formation lap, just speed down the back of your class. Was that a pun? During the 15 minute break, have a shower, do a quick scav run uh, on Escape from Tarkov, or have a quick 10 minute sleep. <laughs> uh, I'm not gumperting, no. If I am fall, driving. On, if you fall behind when it's a single file, the you, you catch up. 
Yeah, just stay trying to stay there. In the GT1 the category, so I'm in the yeah, faster class, but the more difficult tiles, class. No traction control, no b yeah, it's ABS. Start position, start starting position is not so much. Yeah, let's just do a little sighting lap here with a full tank. Make sure everything's aight. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe since the last time I streamed as well. Look at this amazing new uh, setup screen on Race Room. Race Room had a, a massive update. New uh, physics, tire model, lots of new handling updates, force feedback, the lot. Do you have like the pit stop play stay in the same place in the case as it does in the black one? It should, the one you're in now should be the one you need to do. Two minutes, enough to do it. Quick sighting lap into the pits. Double check where my pit box is at. Exit's clear. Bush gets it in sector yes, two. It sector it two is yellow. You can't, you can't, you can't see your stop. It might mean another car. So you can see the stop in it. Yeah, so we're going to Sector two is clear. There you go, flat cap. It's really good, man. New setup things. screens, really, really nice. A lot more in there. Little descriptions as well of what adjusting things can do. Oh, each parameter. So it's going to be a bloody exhilarating one tonight, guys. Um, 36 cars for three hours on the new physics as well. So I think this is probably the longest race I've done by myself so long. So. For at least 10 to 15 before. Be um, good information as well for how the let GT runs get away. tires and time progression works as well. Time progression there in race room racing experience. These speeds are not exactly, you know, you've got to stay to 130, you can't get below it, it's just a maximum. Just don't go above 30. Yes, Jazz, the Koenig tag. The oh, comfort mode is really nice, actually. Oh, yeah? That's my second choice. Let's yeah. oh, go. I should have known. The ceiling seems to be the, ironic. the most popular of the long. Wait, 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 think ironically. It's the fastest kill of the ride. Okay, so let me see. Fox in, 650 meters. Good morning, yeah. Dr. Nass. Uh, how are you, man? Happy New Year, dude. Look at all these cars. 15 seconds. Anyway. Right. Alright, we're about to get underway here. Hope you're well. Need to pay attention now, gentlemen. Hopefully the Check chat is less from the rest of everybody else. Oh, fuck. And you can hear me. Everybody's so, shitting themselves now. Myself included. Good luck, dudes. Yeah, enjoy it, man. Yeah, enjoy it, everyone. Do your best, enjoy it. This is the new setup screen. I just, as well, see when people exit the pits. Tabs here for you all. It's a quick brief. You've got your steering wheel stuff here as well. Yeah, nice guys, so load and like save it. everything here. Oh, nice. excellent. Good news. Kinda. Good news for us, not for you. Uh, I'm actually, I'm I'm actually just... round the bloody corner from everyone else. Uh, I'm just happy you're on the guys. So Aww. Thank you very much, Martin. Flat cap, much appreciated. Very busy. Ah, the legs doing well, Otter. Yes, dude. Hopefully, see you back soon. Right, roll and start here. Uh, for manual Standing formation. Over to the um, fast leaders to, yeah. to the outback. Thank you very much, Otter. Speed and good luck, everyone. Okay, Yellow flag. What's going on? Who's this? Who's this guy? <laughs> I think uh, somebody doesn't know what's going on, by the way. Yeah, yeah, Still there. Oh, what's he doing? Blue and orange gun exec. Or a saline. Blue and orange saline. There's also a saline. Yeah, I've got damage. Car left. Clear left. Is there anyone. Oh, should have given debugging that kick kick for mission? Some neutral just come flying past me as well. Yep. It's Deba, Mitchell. Mitchell to one. Left side. Well, you get back. Left. Oh, that's what it is. Am I allowed to make my positions back off? Grab me up. 
Yeah, not sure what position I started in. Did you guys well, see what position like... I started in? I thought it was 10th, but maybe it's 11th. Well, I, could have, I could have been kicking out the race right now. Could have come past. Oh, oh, he's been retired like sector one. Oh, what a Okay, well, you see the sense to you, Izzy. Cocked up. Hey, anyway. Really just didn't Enjoy. read anything. Right, ignore that guy, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Guy, guy also didn't guys, understand. Good luck. Sorry. Sorry, uh, mate, I was trying to bring up the kick. <laughs> it's alright, mate. Oh, I'm man. Bad, you know that. <laughs> That's why I was weaving all over. I'd actually yeah. rather you were doing this bit. <laughs> well, I'm in tents now. I think that's right because the guy who overtook us all was from Thanks. behind. Anyway, this RWB crew are awfully chatty. I'm hoping they're going to quieten down once we start because. Uh... Thanks. Thanks, Black Cat. Stop the chat, though, please. At least comes only. You're the last GT one. You're in the left, means. So formation lap here. Like, we are not buzzing TT time. Yeah. What happened there for anyone watching who didn't understand is we're doing a manual formation lap, but obviously somebody behind me, further back in the GT1 category, didn't understand. Thought everyone got a terrible start and just steamrolled up the middle of everyone, crashed into somebody. And then um, this is a very okay, slow pace. Uh, GT2, three even, get ready to form up. So I was on the right hand side of the track, I believe. Incident clear, green flag, white flag. So here we go, race is about to start. Three hours at Imola. This is very slow. That's a white flag. The tire is cold and fuel tank heavy, so we'll really take it easy the first few laps until everything's up to temperature. Speed kills, thank you very much, Bert. Nice to see you here, bro. Hope you're doing well. Enjoying the start of your 2020. the legs on oh, me to get to get past night flight in front in the 4G2 that time round but there'll be plenty of other opportunities I'm sure
to lift off the gas there. On your left. Hold your line. He's still there. Still there. Side by side to the chicane. Still there. Clear left. Left side. Still there. Clear left. All right. Right side's clear. Have we made a stick? Well done, mate. That was great. And now we've got the fence with this foot behind us. B9. All right. Got a terrible exit at that last corner. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. Nice to defend there. And time on to P9. Here we go. Woo -woo! Thanks, guys. Now, out Gardner. Up next. Let's try and keep with him. Let's try and create a gap to the guys behind us. feedback and uh, just a new physics and tower model the race room uh, absolutely awesome and I actually find it's been a good two evenings like tweaking it and setting up after the patch dropped but only recently like within the past two days discovered Sector something is clear. else we think which has really on. helped Evolve the force feedback for me and give me a lot more pronounced detail with that clipping, so it's just next level, man. So I've got 1.3 second gap now to the guys behind and catching the guy in front. Something that um, I read that Alex Hodgkin posted um, in the race department forum. out of this last corner, try and get this overtake made, going into turn one, I should have a run on him, a mini slipstream, pretty close, so, left or right, what do you reckon? No, he's going to the, to the right, so I'll take the left. Car right. Hold your line. Still there. Up two places, up to position eight. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say no. I need, I need to know now. Yeah, well, Jamie doesn't need you anywhere. Thanks, man. All right, seven and a half seconds up the road to Dave Crew.
Thanks, Otter. <laughs> Clive, how's it going, man? Happy New Year, bro. You're a charming bunch. Thanks, man. Thank you all. Very kind. Let's just try and get into a rhythm here and get ourselves up to uh, the back of Dave Crew. Some 7.2 seconds up the road. You guys who are all racing with uh, RR leagues, are you looking forward to the start of the two new championships starting next week? I actually can't wait, man. Oof. Really, really looking forward to them. Both the WTCR and uh, GT Masters part the part the mon ami. See in both the WTCR and the GT3 Masters, Randy. Yeah. What are you, uh, what are you driving in each of them, dude? This GT3 car at the minute is a uh, helmet, so 31 helmet. seconds behind our position at the minute. We can see Parry has gone off in, that's a two. Green flag sector three. First of all, it's your really, uh, after the CR with a bad experience. Almost there, only two hours and 47 minutes to go. <laughs> We're joining the Hyundai, yeah, cool man. And the M6, BMW M6 for the GT3. Man, that M6 is awesome now, man. Really, really nice. I drove in that two hour race, as you know, and you're a part of. As all of you are a part of, I think. Um, the two hour race we did at Autodrom most. I drove the BMW M6, and it was a total light. It was amazing. Sector two. What was my Green last lap time? Two. Come on, crew chief. Answer a question, yo. Oh, shh. Wasn't concentrating there. Oops. Don't block you, FX. What was my last lap? Time was at 114.68. Okay, so that's not too bad. 114.68. Oh, good, mate. Eight. With your. Oh, hard done. Fastest is a low 39, a low 139. So, if I'm doing those lap times already with a full fuel load, I'm pretty happy about it. 
It looks like Jens up ahead has made a mistake and he's now dropped back to P7. So that's not who I'm chasing. Although there's still some 8 seconds up the road though, so... A silly mistake by myself isn't helping at all. But I am pulling away from the group behind now. I've managed to extend the gap to about 6 seconds, so... Just a little bit lonely. Hopefully we can catch up to the guys in front or someone has some sort of slowdown. Jens down to 7.3. Interesting. Maybe he's battling with yeah. Dave Crew and Jens Fielder. Battling out at the moment. <laughs> Is this some fucking... You guys going to be some fucking... Some smack talk, some trash talk in the chat for the upcoming championships. Hang on a minute. I'm gonna be pushing you for the amateur cup as long as there's a bit of it in the. So I couldn't read the rest of that. Hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna be pushing you, motherfucker. When you put it in the first, like, oh, the last stage, right? Yeah, man. Well, I've got two opportunities to do it now in both the WTCR and in the GT3. Yeah, Clive, man. Yeah, right. the, the quitting isn't a good thing to do. And I know it's like hard to stomach sometimes. But just like, just get it into your frame of mind. Like, like Sai says, man, like, try and treat this like it's like your actual car. You know what I mean? And like, your time, effort, and money is going into it. So, like, race clean. Like, you wouldn't want to damage it. And uh, if you do have an incident, get it back to the pit, man. Get it fixed. You know what I mean? It's going to leave it on track. Oh shit, there we go. So yeah, next season for all of us, man. Better results, higher scoring, cleaner racing, more exciting shit for all of us, hopefully. I think I just got a little glimpse of the guys up ahead there. It looked like a puff of smoke. Yeah, down to 6.6 .6 seconds. So those two in front, Dave Crew and Jens Fielder. Fiddler, sorry. Battling out, slowing them down a little bit, giving me the opportunity to catch up a little bit. Hard on the brakes in turn one, and then just guide the car through on the accelerator. Full throttle as soon as you dare. And hang on, there they are, up ahead. We can see them. Much better. But yeah, Amp Cup is going to be highly contested next season. As is the main championship, man. Take this chicane like that every single time. We're on 0.9% per lap tire wear at the minute. Not bad, eh? people up ahead now, by the looks of things. I don't know my fans. What's that? That's why you'd never borrow my real car. Speed kills, DB, me and you, man. WTCR, Honda Civic. Oh, 
Oh, it's a uh, it's back marker. It's Pete. It's our friend Pete in the GT3. Oh, very late on the brakes there. Coming up on the GT3 cars. Oops. You're locking your right front going into very anti alto. Hold on, I'll read that chat in a second. Yellow flag. Oh, Pete's gone sliding off. Incident clear, green flag. Uh, when are you going to take the 15 minute break? Halfway or just with 20 minutes on the clock? Well, I've got to factor in the pit stops, Randy, so... I'm going to be pitting twice. First, I'm going to totally use all the fuel I've got in the tank just now, which I started with 110 liters. Then I'm going to pit. I'm going to add almost a full tank uh, and keep the same set of tires because I'm very low tire wear to set up for this race. I'm going to go back out and do, I guess, what essentially be the second, third. On your right, right side's clear. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 7.1. Um, so after the second third of the, the race, my second pit stop, I'll be pitting for more fuel and a fresh set of boots. I'll be taking my 50 minute break then. So time wise... Yellow flag in sector three. Uh, it two looks hours, like it has gone off in. One, one, two, one. Yeah, yeah I'm sector three. three. Around about one hour left on the clock, so about two hours into the race. Not ideal. I would run them there the past couple of laps, some really horrible laps. So. Hey, listen to Speed Kills, ladies and gentlemen. If you are enjoying the race, enjoying the first stream of mine of 2020, do us a favor, hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more? I don't know. I would think about subscribing. That would really help me out. Thank you. <coughs> Last lap time was at 1.42.129. Yeah, so that was a bad lap. That was two seconds slower than what I was doing previously, so... Yellow flag. Oh, we've got a GT3 car on the wall there. You're clear. Incident clear. Alright, so the first set... Uh, GT3 cars we have one is clear. There will be lots of uh, passing GT3 cars, I believe, throughout this race. from the chat there for each other and guys rule understanding and encouraging oh my god apparently that was an off track yellow flag sector one <laughs> yeah dude this track is great that's such a good driver barrier for you the gas is 5.3 you've just done it got did three five and a half seconds six. ahead but six seconds ahead yellow flag stay sharp Oh, I've got some more GT3 cars here between me and Dave at the minute. You're coming up on a slower car. <laughs> Dimula hates you. But think about all the food and wine and everything, man. <laughs> I'd love to go to Avalon, man. Alright. I 
think I got fairly unlucky just now with where I've caught these guys, because... All right, Jack. You're approaching some slower cars. These guys are fighting for position to your right. Transfer threw off my braking massively. Luckily, it didn't hit anything. The suspension seems fine. But yeah, it wasn't a good place to pass these guys. For epics. on the racing line, that's the problem. Right. Same as last time. He stayed on Still the racing line, so it just means... Right. I'm just gonna have to slow right down. And um, back him up a little bit, unfortunately. But that'll be where Dave lost his time as well when I gave those two seconds to him. I bet it was when he was trying to pass those two. Is Sai in the chat? Hey Sai, happy to you dude. Hope you're well, man. Sorry, the chat's going... I've got my chat too big, so I can only see like four or five messages at once. But it seems like size in the building. You're welcome. Hope you're doing great, dude. Coming up on a slower class car. Already going to be overtaking the 17th position GT3 runner. I think there's over 20 of them. There's about 26 of them now. Something like that. Maybe 24 of them. Over 10 seconds now to the next GT1 class car in front of me. So I've got a lot of work to do. What is this? <laughs> Live. Oh man. Thanks, dudes. Yeah. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you too, man. Thanks so much for the donation, dude. I really appreciate it, man. It's very, very kind of you. Really looking forward to... Really, Clear really right. looking forward to all the battles. Clear right. For the next season, man. The RRL. Thanks, man. Thank you. Half an hour gone. Two hours and 30 minutes remaining. Now, so far, so good. Had a couple of hairy moments. Some nice battling in the beginning. Despite the hairy formation lap where someone clearly didn't know what was going on. I'm not allowed to beat Clive. That was basically a bribe. And that's not even the first time he's donated as well, so that's two races I've got to let him overtake me on the start finish straight on the last lap. That's hilarious. Don't worry about reading this first, because I like reading it, man. I'm having fun. Oh shit! Oh my god. It's good, we got this! We got this! Cheers, we'll see. So I think I started P11 overall is where I qualified out of 14 or so. So I guess, what's an acceptable, what, what would be a success for me to finish? What, what position, guys? Because you know I always usually stay top 10, but... I'm already in the top 10. Right my way through life. <laughs> hey, 
sai. Yeah, dude. Okay, Jack. You've used half your fuel. Last. Slower class car ahead. The last two seasons you ran, yourself and all the other dudes at RRL, the RR leagues, at the end of uh, towards in the last quarter of last year, they were amazing, man. They were really amazing. Bit of a baptism of fire for me because like the racecraft of. The majority of your members is excellent, so I was used to I was used to that. But like the quality, or the quantity, the quantity of the quality of race guy, uh, uh, race drivers you guys got there, and like the speed some of you have got, it's just it's inspiring, man. Oh my God, there's been a big incident in turn one. Green flag, you're clear. There's a group of slower cars ahead. Okay, Orange. Yeah, I'm alright. So, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. One. On your right. Right side's clear. See, so, yeah, I can't wait for, can't wait for both seasons next uh, to start next week, man. Yellow flag. Right, we've got a spinner up ahead in the McLaren. Class car ahead. So lots of people seem to be taking to the new clear. Porsche in the GT3 class. Pick up the front just now. Ten seconds. Car right. Clear right. <coughs> You're looking your right. So it's cool. Very anti to get past uh, that group of. Uh, GT3 cars, no bother. Top five! Jazz, man, you're optimistic. I love it. Let's try for top five. I don't know, it seems like a long way off now. I've been a P8 for the first half an hour, and I haven't made up a single second to Dave Crew in front. But uh, I think the race could come to us. To get it less than top five, top five. Let's see, ahead of C Hacks. Ahead of C Hacks, but C Hacks isn't P5. Right? We're going for top five, that's the goal. Top five or DNF. As a bonus, I'll try and finish ahead of Sea Hacks, but we'll see. We'll see how that all pans out. We can start putting in 140s. Consistent ones at that. Gonna come up to uh, Rick Benusley. Another one of the paradigm shift dudes who uh, is racing tonight, but in the GT3 class. Don't know what he's driving, he's driving the vet as well. Last lap time was at 114.93. Thank you, sir. Car left. Clear left. Mm. 
menacing skull up ahead. Shit, man, I'm intimidated. <laughs> I paid for a win. I expect a win. Okay. I'll try. Accelerator. A little bit earlier coming out of that hairpin, I reckon. Short shift a second. Turf or whatever it is on the outside of the rumble strip, and tires are picking up a lot of debris. So we just clean that up here. The menacing skull. Terrifying. Right. Let's just get that shady, sketchy lap out of the system. Try and get it back on it. That was at 141.83. Yellow flag sector two. We think that Harry has gone off in Miratella. Tread remaining on this set. That's the worst tire. Got two at 78 and one at 73, and the worst at 70. I think I'm starting to feel that 30% wear just a little bit. I just want to try and not think about it too much and uh... Incident in Sector 1. Sector 1 is yellow. So I'm not to have any big incidents and finish. That is my main goal. The top 5 for you guys. Is the optimum? Alright, cool. It looks like the guys up ahead have probably caught traffic again or have been busy battling because they've dropped back or maybe I just put in a nice consistent lap and they did it. Charles doing pit, first pit stop as well. Don't know. I mean, 
It'd be good, but it'd take a lot longer, I think. When we get closer to it, I will reconsider the landing. Sector two is yellow. Yellow flag, stay sharp. We're approaching a group of slower cars. Green flag, you're clear. Sector two is clear. Left side, clear left. <laughs> Ricky Bobby. <laughs> it's like fuck out of the way. There, but we've got to start down at the end. So, wreck running in P10 of the GT3 class, that's pretty cool. See the speed difference here between the GT1s and the GT3s, and you can see how much later the GT3s can break than the GT1s. There. <laughs> it was the sausage himself. Rick Vinner's like. Looks like Darren King had a spin of the hairpin there. Yeah, this is the section where you, it's not really ideal to be catching GT3 cars. So there's not a lot of space to pass. And unless they're super compliant, oh, Darren King might let me pass here. Alright. Right side's clear. The gap in front is now 12 seconds. Oh, he nearly went into the back of me there. Coming up on a slower class car. All right, we're through. Yellow flag in sector one. No worries, no worries. I'll just take you on the stage, that's you said, I'll move the bus. Okay. So, about nine more laps, and then I'm going to be making my first pit stop. Take about 28 seconds to refuel. We'll see how long it will take if I choose to change tires. Sorry, as well. in total, it's going to be about 97 laps for the GT1, so I need to be lapping certainly over a second slower than I would with fresh tyres for it to be worth putting on new boots to lose that 30 seconds. 
Do we don't make that 30 seconds up. Incident in sector three. Sector three is yellow. So now let's keep an eye on my lap times now for the next eight laps. And uh, if they're consistently in the 41s, then I will change because then I can try and get me closer to that 39, 140, 139 mark. But if they are at 140 or 139, maybe not worth it. What was my last lap time? Just done at 140.71. See, I did a 140 for a last lap. Stop it. Thanks for the subscription. Welcome to the channel. Tiago, welcome, man. Thanks for joining us, dude. Hope you're well. That was a 41 in that one, so we're hovering. We'll see what these next few ones are like. Ah, nice one, dude. Hope you're enjoying the stream, man. Don't worry about the guys in chat, they'll look after you. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Very good, Martin Peterman. Pass here. Car right. Looks like it. Still there. Clear right. Welcome to the madness, Diago. If you, uh, if you're in a sim racing, ladies and gentlemen. If you do sim race yourself, come and join me and a bunch of the guys in the chat and many other like-minded sim racing geeks in the Paradigm Shift Discord server. Links in the description below. It's, uh, it's my Discord server. Where everyone's dead friendly. We have some nice banter. And it's not too crowded. It's a lovely place to be, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Black Cat for the link in chat. Hashtag best mods in the house. If you guys need anything, just ask Flat Cat or Alternas. We should be able to help you out, point you in the right direction. Or I can do so after the race. It's a mixture of nice and filth, but mainly nice. We have a special channel for the filth, which no one uses. <laughs> right, car feels all right. Tire wear is... Okay, Jack. 61% remaining on the worst tire. And that was a 140.6. I'm not going to change the tires. I'm going to stick to my original plan. I know that might be risky for a puncture, but to be honest, I kind of want to see what happens because our tires are not overheating. So, I'm Incident in sector two. Sector two is yellow. I'm keen to see if, uh... Yellow flag. Oh, spinner of that hairpin there. Sector 2 is clear. Green flag. 
Right. Unless, Randy, you're like, seriously, dude, I've done a bunch of testing. You should change your tires. In which case, I will take your advice. To be honest, I'm finding braking the most difficult thing with the tire wear. <laughs> Didn't do testing. Alright, I'll do the testing, live. Uh, I'm driving the Koenigsegg, Tiago, in the GT1 category. The Koenigsegg CC GT, I believe, is the name. Oh, we've got some people pitting already. GT3 cars. The Koenigsegg. -y. Slower class car ahead. It's a shame, because a lot of the guys are in front are pulling away, they are faster, and I'm not driving so well. And I'm having fairly bad luck with the traffic, but I um, can't help but feel that if I didn't have that... Yellow flag sector 2. Get stuck behind that slow group at the beginning, if I maybe just qualified a little bit better, I could have at least been hanging in with those guys, rather than 13 seconds behind, but it is what it is. Still over two hours to go. The first hour is nearly complete. Yeah, it's fast as hell. And it's got no ABS, no traction control. They're really old school, hard tires. before the race started is about why I made the decision to drive the GT1 rather than the GT3. That lap time was 141.20. The challenge. The challenge is what made me stick with it. The GT3s are significantly easier to drive than these things. But, you know, the popularity of GT3s as it was last year and continues to be right now, it's absolutely through the roof, so there's plenty of GT3 racing to be done. back to the tires and they're not changing them in the pit stop if everybody else does change the tires and it takes an extra 30 seconds and I keep on putting in 140s then it would put me into that fifth position provided that all three of those guys in front of me all change tires in the pit stop as well so we're going to take a risk we're going to take a risk folks we're going to do it we're going to not change tires, we're going to add fuel. Okay, Jack. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. So I don't think I'm going to quite make three laps out of this, so it's going to have to be... That was that. 141.12. Two laps. Well, I was trying to let you go as well. <laughs> cool. 
I'm pitting speed. All's well. Slower class car ahead. We're nearly past the whole field of GT3 cars. This next one in front of me is currently the fourth runner in that, ca in that class. So the leaders are on another level at the minute. Could have gained 138s. I mean, that's uh, high 138s, but still 38s nonetheless. My fastest, like I said earlier, was a low 139. So not miles off, but... Unfortunately, like Flackout says, Racerum doesn't yet have driver swaps. It's something that developers have on their minds, but... Man, if Racerum had driver swaps, I genuinely don't think I would play any other thing. Sector 2 is clear. First stint done, first hour complete. <sighs> ah, driver stop's good for all sorts, man. Even a three hour race where you have like, everybody has to take, every team has to take, a, you know, at least two pit stops and then you have teams of three. It's really fun. Working down. as a team is like, it's a different thing, man. It's cool. It's really fun. Right, here we go. We're about to go back out. Longer than a week. All right. Pit stop complete. Swig of vodka there. A little bit of Dutch courage. So I was running in P8. So we've got beer in front of us. Don't look at anyone in front made a stop so far. I think I was actually the first GT1 car to make a stop. I wouldn't be surprised if all of them are going to be diving in on this lap or the next lap. I could have gone one lap deeper if I just had a little bit of fuel saving, but 
don't want to take the risk, so... Hopefully we can, I can at least claim my... 8th position. And, uh, may, maybe even more. There we go. So, Beer, the GT1 car in front, is pitting. It looks like Rigel's already in as well. So we'll see now. We'll see soon soon enough if everyone is changing tires. Or if anyone else is double stunting them. It looks like a lot of people have elected to change tires, so either they've made the right decision or I've made the right decision. I'm up to P6. Thank you, sir. All right. Right side's clear. We gap to left side. Boss in the F6. <laughs> it was. It certainly seemed like it. Oh my goodness. Sorry, temperatures are fine. Position number five. Whoop, whoop. Let's see. Uh, see if we can hang on to it. Yellow flag, sector one. What was my last lap? Time was 142.24. Okay, that doesn't count because there was a car, a back marker I had to overtake. Ideally, 140s. Sector 1 is clear. Even if it's a high 140, it would be nice to try and have any hope of holding on to this top 5. So we don't want to get ourselves a puncture. Anna, I'm keeping strong. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you okay? Hope you are enjoying the stream. So we've got six and a half seconds to Rigel in front, seven and a half seconds to Hacks behind. Okay, I'm a little bit slower than I want it to be, but... Yeah, we'll see. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Alan. Hmm. Yeah, you're right, Jazz. We're only a third into the race, so a lot to go. And one hour and 54 minutes remaining, folks. P1, come on! <laughs> Just
just triple stint the tires, yeah? Just don't change them. Just overtake everyone. Catching the gaps now, 7.3 seconds. He's faster than you in two, that's a one. Oh, tires felt dodgy there. Hax is not catching. It's catching a little bit now that I'm next to that chicane, but. Still have 141, so. Oh, the brakes! We're good, we're good! Oh, we're not good, we're not good! The change of minds! Dirty tires there. Lack of grip. Man, I'm looking forward to those fresh sale boots already. I was wondering where all the other GT1 cars have gone. There's only one behind me just now. I think a, a bunch of people have chosen to take their 50 minute break during their first pit stop. Because behind, who's at night flight behind me, not Hacks. Behind Hacks, the next cars in sequence of most laps complete are GT3 cars. That's the, the blue purple bars at the top. And GT1s are the red bars. So, I wonder if they're just sat in the pits. I'll actually, I should be able to find out by looking at my relative timer at the bottom left of my screen here. As we go past the start finish line to see if there are GT1 runners sat in the pits. There may even be some GT3 runners in here. Interesting folks, split strategies. So let's see, that car in front of me flickers red as we're driving past the pits here. Jack, there's a car exit in the pits, heads up. Incident in sector two, one, sector one is yellow. Two of them. So not many of them. But two of them are in the pits. Green flag, sector one. Yellow flag in sector one. Yeah, Mark in the pits and uh, someone else I think as well. I didn't quite catch the name, but Green someone else is in there. Yeah, at least one other. I think the timing's off a bit, yeah? Yeah, Dave Crew. Two for sure. Forty-five percent tread remaining on that front right, which is my most worn tire. I think we'll be all right, provided it doesn't go bang. But it, at least it's not hot. It's nice and cool. Hacks now down to two and a half seconds gap. So you obviously did change the tires. Yeah, so I'm on the 142, so a couple seconds off where I want it to be. But I don't know if there's much we can do about that. Green flag. Let's see 
Modern GT1 runner has come back into the timing screen up ahead. Besides Hacks directly behind me, we're over a minute behind, so. Not too bad. 30 seconds for boots, that gives me another 40 seconds buffer ahead of those dudes, so. Yeah, no shit, we'll maybe just put our bread bias back one click. See if we can alleviate any of that. Front locking. The hacks is catching right up now, one and a half second behind. It's gonna be on our tail for the next lap or so. I'm a rear view mirror. Got a feeling I'm going to be a sitting duck, if not right now. It's certainly a long start finish straight, and I think he knows it. He's in my slipstream, he's on the along the left hand side. Dude, that's, uh, that's a trend that I've seen way too much these days. People overtaking and then braking and pulling in front of you in the braking zone. But fair play, you would have got past anyway, so. He's got those fresh boots on. Feeling good, feeling, feeling fresh. I too will have fresh boots soon. Alright, down to P6, but it's all good, folks. It's all good. Still an hour and 45 to go. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 1.3 seconds. Alright, where are we at? 41% tread remaining on that front left. So tires starting to feel pretty sketchy right now. <laughs> so there's your information, there's your data, folks. Sub 50% tires, especially the GT1 car. They feel pretty sketchy. Still drivable. Uh, 24 more laps, and then we'll be making our second and final pit stop. We'll okay, also be having that 50-minute break. Sixth pass. back marker now for me in the GT1 class so unless he can get away from me he's gonna have to yield and he'll get stuck behind me Stop. And I don't think he wants that
But if you just stay at this sort of distance to me, that'd be nice because I'll get a nice little, a nice little tool along the start-finish straight. Oh, beep, 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 beep. Oops. Yeah, braking performance is really dropped off the cliff, you know? It's definitely, aside from corner grip, really noticing that the braking performance has, uh, has been affected quite a lot due to the tire wearing out with this new model. Come on, activate the turbo, third button. <laughs> I got to conserve that energy, that uh, the engine, you know. It's good to be able to. It's all good. Bear in mind that there is still another round of pit stops, and that uh, maybe a lot of people are planning to go for two long stints at the beginning, and then a shorter stint on a used set of tires for the last stint. Whereas I'm going a long, short, long with my short and worn tire stint being in the middle. So I have fresh tires for the end of the race. Steady, that's all endurance race. Yeah, lots of people are probably doing mistakes. Yeah, I mean I'm doing a lot of mistakes just now. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully there's a lot of people in my position at the end of the race where I am now. When I've got some fresh tires. But we'll see. But we'll see. This might pay off. I was in P8, so if I end up anywhere higher than P8 at the end of the race, then. I mean, it's subjective, lots of stuff could Another have happened, but, but uh, maybe the double still at tires will have given me something. Looks like someone's gone a bit off there. in there. What was that sound? The tires are okay. Smith is okay. Oh. That lap was at 141.79. Slightly better. Let's see if we can get to the low 141s. That'd be that'd be real nice. Oh, okay. Ain't gonna happen when you drift around T1.
still too busy glancing at my telemetry rather than concentrating on driving. Classic jack mistake. I'm still pulling away from the other GT1 runners behind me, which is good. halfway mark in this three-hour race. If you're still with us, thanks very much for sticking around. If you've fallen asleep, I'm glad it could be of assistance. the next GT3 runner in front of us. Oh, sugar. Thanks, Clive, man. You're doing all right. Pace has dropped off a little bit, but I guess it's to be expected with the uh, double cinder tires. They are an hour and a half old. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what was I thinking? Ah, it's risks, man. A challenge, a risk. Yeah, why not? Why not? Sector 2. Sector 2 is yellow. Thanks for sticking around, dude. Green flag, Sector 2. Oh, jeez! Okay, we're in. We're on. Oh, I got it. Man, I tell you, who needs heating in their house? Get yourself a simulator. Get yourself in a race club and get yourself involved in some intense racing, man. I am overheating right now. Definitely cracking that window open during the 50 minute break, that's for sure, I tell you. Oh man. That's just the start of it, dude. <laughs> Like, I don't seem to be getting any cooler. I actually seem to, I seem to be getting warmer. Yeah, 
Iron Man. That's right. <laughs> the, the leather seat, the concentration. And you know me, quite. I'm not the most. Oh, jeez. I'm quite animated behind the wheel, that's what I'm trying to say. When I'm in the rig, I can certainly be quite animated. So, yeah. It's pretty damn warm. The lap time was at 142.17. Alright, I'm doing alright, though. Still got the grip. 16 or 17 more laps until our class next pit stop. And the stash! <laughs> in the winter but you know it's not it's not too bad to be honest the stash the beard though it's fine the beard have to come off man a bit warm it's gotta get on the past he is car left clear left thank you Ricky Bobby Benusley <laughs> cheers bud <laughs> Rick is a little flash of the lights Shake that tail feather from there, coming out of the chicane. Let me give it a bit of a distant tail in return for the favour. Okay, don't try and find where the water's at. Just don't have water until your next pit stop. I've actually got a feeling it's down by my right. Well, it's not down by my right. Yeah, it should be on my left. Yeah, man. It's like a front splitter. <laughs> Gives me all that front end grip, you know? Loose end. Sticky front end. <laughs> This is terrible. This chat has gone south. But then again, that always does do, doesn't it? Doesn't it? locking because I might have put the brake bias just slightly too far back to try and alleviate as much of that front right locking and it just swiftly put it back one click forward halfway whoop, whoop. thanks for sticking with it guys yeah definite definite brown brown pants after that incident an hour and a half already, I mean, this is already quite a long distance for it. a normal race. So look, all of you who are still in here, the bum stash, all of it, the, you that are still in here, thank you. That means a lot, man. Twenty-six percent tire tread remaining on my worst worn tire. That particular tire is the front right. It's wearing at a rate of about one point four percent parallel. Uh, my best. Uh, what's the word? My least worn tire is my rear right, wearing at one percent per lap. So not a big difference. Pretty good. 
Okay. That's better. Less poo that time. Do those 14 laps. Slower class car ahead. Mind you, it depends on. Now 15 seconds. Depends on how far this 25% uh, front left, uh, front right is going to get me. But I will do a little bit of fuel saving just to give me the option to get there. Oh, rear axle again. Yeah, tire wear is pretty good. Thanks, Clive. Yeah, during practice, I had it at about 0 0.9. Yellow flag sector three. Left side. Clear left. <laughs> I'll have you know, I'm not wearing a kilt <laughs> tonight. <laughs> I don't want a kilt. Despite the jokes, I genuinely don't want a kilt. I've never owned a kilt. Does that make me not a true Scotsman? I don't know. Sector one I don't is know. yellow. I think I get a kilt. The sim racing kilt. Sector 1, Audi has retired. Oh, we've got another DNF. So you're right in chat, whoever said. Second half of the race has only just begun in a lot. Of uh, people not being able to hack the, the length, to hack the duration, to hack the pace, the concentration. They just they ain't got it. They ain't made for this endurance shit. What? <laughs> what the fuck? You're typing too quick, I can't read it all. <laughs> but why I'm catching out of context is hilarious. I am a true Scotsman, motherfucker, fuck you! Don't worry, yeah, yeah, when, yeah, I, yeah. when I come see you, Dan Saf, I'll be sure to bring a kill. I'll bring you one. Seconds. <laughs> I can't with the drinking. Yep. That's it. <laughs> hey, Amen to that. As long as Flamingo Pink. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. I'll get you a Flamingo Pink kill. A little one, a little shorter than usual, yeah? Good to see you, man. Your... Your manly... Your manly manliness. Ah, oh, yeah. Hey, Tiago. Got a few people in the Discord from, uh, from Belgium. And you do have goddamn amazing beer. Belgians certainly know how to beer. <laughs> Kill land. <laughs> yeah, man, it's the good stuff. But you know where else? Is, you know where else is good for whiskey? Japan. Japanese whiskey is shit hot, man. No, 
I killed it. All right. Still P6, still okay, pulling away from the guys two, behind, and still losing time to the guys in front. It all seems to be a very steady rate, though. Kind of in a bit of no man's land just now, where we haven't really got any racing on the go. But uh, that's endurance racing for you, right? You're going to spend a lot, of, a lot of time by yourself. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of time with your own thoughts. That's why I got you guys uh, in Paddleland too. Oh, yeah, man. Paddleland, the land of the drink. Talking about uh, the Japanese, Tiago. Yeah, I think they, they did. I don't know if they've won it twice now, maybe. But it's because they learned from the Scots, you know? Go on, mate. I think whoever it was, Suntory or the whatever distiller, the big, one of the big distillers are from Japan. And then they sent like a whole bunch of their. They're uh, the team over to Scotland to study and learn the crafts, the Cheers skill, out. and everything. And then we're back to Japan and started crafting really modern, really Big awesome feature. whiskey. Oh, have you never had Japanese whiskey, oh, man? Yeah, it's just like, it's just really modern and. A really fresh take on a single map. Really oh man. Yeah, speed kills. I haven't hit that either. I'm having it though. <laughs> Alright, nine or ten laps until we pit. Just gonna do a little bit of more fuel saving. Oh, way offline there. Yellow flag in sector one. Since I've caught this pack of GT3 cars as well, this is not an ideal place to pass, so we'll do a little bit of fuel saving. Tears of Hex. Sector one is clear. Really. Fuel. 
Wow, they're really holding me up though. It's reflex sector three. Oh my goodness, dude. Seventeen percent tread remaining. <laughs> so I think we should be good. We've got about seven more laps after this one. Oh, yeah. I actually think we might go a bit too deep, you know? First thing that I did? Like, when did I pit? Was there more than two hours or less than two hours on the clock? So I usually always make calculations a little bit bizarre. Coming up on a slower class car. Because there's one hour and 16 left. We've got to take a 15 minute break. But for full tank, 110 liters gets me an so hour's worth of driving. It was after one hour. Well, I think I've already gone deep. You see, that's the thing. Oh shit! Oh, that was pretty god damn deep. Is it concentrating? Pitted right on the two-hour mark, you reckon? Okay, well in that case, I might pit a little bit early. Oh! Maybe I need to get much yeah, earlier because right. Right. tires are, clear. seem to have completely Sorry, dropped off. Alright. Yellow flag sector 2. So 15% remaining and all of a sudden the car feels very dodgy. Sector 2 is clear. You sure it was on the two hour mark exactly? No, it's all good. Just confirm with me that it was exactly on the two hour mark that I pitted. So I got an hour's worth of tires and fuel out of that first stint. And I will pit now. Need to know before the well, start finish straight. Blue flag. Yep. Ah, oh, sick dude. Thank you. You're the best. I'm going in now. Okay, so we went extra deep. Probably didn't have to. I'm pitting now. Blue flag. Activate limiter. Box in. 650 meters. We've got a bunch of people here. So as soon as I get in that pit box, I need to start that timer. Timer's on. Confirmation. Whew. I'm just going to leave this. Can I leave this somewhere where you can see it? I'm just going to leave this here. Woo! Right, 15 minute break. Jesus. So I'll be able to refuel as the car is being refueled now by the pit team and a fresh set of tires. Oh! <laughs> 
Thanks, man. What am I going to do now? I'm going to get up and I'm going to stretch. It's going to make sure nothing funny happens here when it drops you on the ground. But yeah, that's right, dude. That's why I was asking for confirmation. Best ever chat. Best ever group of sim racing pals. Go shower. Yeah, I might do. So the engine's on. We're sitting here like everybody else in here. So currently in P5. Although beer's about to overtake here, we'll put me back into P6. And then night flight as well. Unless he actually needs to pit. So basically, P8 was kind of what was going on here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. New tires, new t-shirt, new jocks, that's it. Uh, what do you call a policewoman who shaves her fanny? I don't know, Speed Kills. <laughs> yeah, I've got the timer on. It's running. We're one minute and 55 seconds into 50 minute break. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to go and enter the tank. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I'm going to have a stretch as well. Maybe a couple more than a couple of minutes. So keep yourselves entertained. Do you guys want to just sit and watch this? Or shall I put you back on the... Uh, shall I put you back on the lobby screen so you have some music? So I just put you back here. So you can chill for a bit. Yeah, I'll do that. Back in a moment. That joke, DB. Another terrible joke by DB, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers, bro. Thank you. 
Sorry. The leader, Rodders, is pitting. Rigel is now leading. I'm back. Good on here. You guys are chatting back. Let's have a look. What's brown is sticky. Stick. Antwerp, Tiago. Is that that's close to where they have uh, Gross Rock, yeah? The music festival. Thanks, God. I've been several times. It was a good time. Yeah, we take it. Thanks, mate. It's not goddamn hummus pizza. It's a roast veg pizza. Flavor boy. Fuck. Wow. Ten minutes have passed. Wow. Oh. You worked for eight, eight gross rock for eight years in a row. 
Sick, Martin. Flat cap. <laughs> Amazing, man. Yeah, I went for like... I think about three, year, three years in a row, four years in a row. Took a break and went one more year. That was a few years. Like, when was the last one I went to? Can't remember. Thanks, whoever that was. Yeah, Gross Rock's sick, man. It's such a cool festival, man. Yeah, man. When you're in good company, time flies, man. Let's do a bit of that. Stream's holding up all right. Looks okay. 0% frames missed due to rendering lag, 0% frames skipped due to encoding lag, and 0% dropped frames due to network. Very cool. Yeah, Mirhut, man. 2006-2014 or so. Dude. You must have been at the same festival like several times, man. That's uh, that's cool. That's very cool. Let's keep going, Saga. I'm going in the pits in a minute. <laughs> Alright, let's uh. Might not be able to hear you. <clears throat> let's start getting ready. So, one hour, one minute, and 15 seconds remaining on the clock. Two and a half minutes remaining until I can leave the pit box. Oh. P8, no! Shit. I feel this top five slipping out of my, from in between my fingers, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've let you down. There might be some people to stop though. <clears throat> There's a lot of people who stopped early. I guess I'll have to just make their splash and dash. 13 13. Alright, better get these gloves back on. Jeez. Oh, these cold gloves. <laughs> So we still got people pitting. <clears throat> so there will be still be positions positions changing. All right, this will be the last time I show you this counter, dudes. And for confirmation for any of the RWB guys, boost. Getting ready to go. T minus forty five seconds. What cell do you have? What rig? Uh, so uh, similar P one X. Uh, profile rig, uh, T300 servo, uh, the sparkle rim, uh, set of Husingveld sprint pedals, seat out of a BMW E30 M3. There you go. That's it. Oh, actually, I need to update that now. The little uh, thing me jigger because uh, that's popped up on chat because that's all ch that's changed now. But yeah, uh, a couple of shifts as well. Ten seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're out. Confirmation. Switch that off. Right, tires, brakes, everything's going to be really cold. There's traffic behind, take care. Sector one is clear. Tires all around. The brake temperatures are low. We need to get some heat into them. Good work. So first two laps, just go get my tires and everything up to temperature. 
Thanks, man. It's not something that I bought just outright. It's been slowly being built and purchased over the years. And the P1X was only a recent, um, a recent upgrade of mine. Up until very late, uh, there's a DIY homemade rig, which served me very, very well. Oh man, the grip I've got though is absolutely phenomenal. All right, here we go, P10. Let's see if I can get back to P8 at least. actually. It's on order. It's being made just now for me. Got a new wheel for Christmas from Turn Racing in the States. So that'll hopefully be here later in January. Just need to find myself a nice... Blue flag. ...button box to slap on the back of it. So I'm not on the blue flag from this guy behind me. I think it's from whoever's behind him. I might do a bit of fuel saving, actually. God, I just looked at that. I need to save about six liters, which is about two laps away. So, incident in sector two. Sector two is yellow. Yellow flag. Oh, Looks like the leader has gone off in tow, sir. Incident clear. Green flag. I don't know, my auto hold hasn't updated properly. I might need to do some fuel saving. Yeah, Ulrich, he's now behind me. He's managed to get past the pink and white Porsche. I know the fuel tab is going down, so maybe I don't need to fuel save. Let's do a few more laps and see if this levels itself out. Blue flag. Using my uh, my fuel calculator. Controls out the wheel, my fingertips. Finish, we stop. Finish, 
Right side, clear right. Let's just slow down to let Dave in front here, as on their blue flag, so. <laughs> nice, Tiago. Yeah, we'll have a we'll have a conversation in the, uh, the Discord, man. Because if I could put some business your way, I would like to help you out. And if you can help me out, that'd be great. Look at Dave's line. Surely that's not legal. <laughs> you see that? Oh, it's mad. Andy Strawman. Thanks for the sub, dudes. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're enjoying the race. For anyone who's joined midstream, this is a three-hour race hosted by RWB. Multi-class between GT1 and GT3 category race room. We are in the final hour, we've got 51 minutes left to go. My fuel calculator hasn't gone down any further, so I feel like I need to save some fuel. Approximately 5.3 liters of fuel I think I need to save, so I'm going to start doing that. Will do. Thanks for the reminder. Explicitly, explicitly stipulated Green flag, all clear. in the terms for this race that the 15 minute counter has to be started once you're in your pit box. You remain in your pit box until you leave, so not once you enter the pit lane, drive into your pit box and drive out to take 15 minutes. It's going to be 15 minutes in the pit box. I was going to let you go there now. Who decides the rules are met or not? I'm sure he's looking at those times. Yes, Tiago. Post race. This guy doesn't realize that he's under blue flags. I guess he's just waiting for the start finish straight because he knew that's where I'd be. Quicker anyway, so he doesn't lose any time. Right. Just me. Hold your line. You're right. Oh, 
last car. And yeah, uh, Rodders, who's manning this whole operation for the race tonight, said earlier today that anybody who's found not spending 50 minutes in the pit box and doing it properly, at the very least, we'd have the extra time we didn't spend right. in the pit box added on, plus a time Thanks penalty. Easy data to gather as well from uh... incident in sector one. Sector one is yellow. From the Jason file, like sector one. Spotted by the server at the end of the race with all the uh, data on it. So, all right, we only have to save one more liter of fuel already. So, Operation Save Fuel almost complete. That lap was at one forty one point seven zero. We've got another DNF. Fiedler. He's uh, 25 seconds on the road. Is our closest competition at the minute. So we'll see what happens with that. We'll keep an eye on the timing as uh, we get further into this. Final 45 minutes. Times back into the 140s. Seems to have lost my mojo a little bit. You're right, brothers. Yeah, I've at least a minute early for the pit, so I'm not going to go did you release the Interesting. So if he's pitting, I might, I might have actually been racing with him, but I wasn't the yellow blue flag, so there wasn't much I could do. I'm about not yielding to him, but if I have a decent lap now, if he changes, if he changes his tires. 
Right side's clear. Slower class car ahead. Sector two is yellow. If he changes his tires, I should definitely end up in front of him. If he does it, it'll be insanely close. The race is on, folks. It feels like the race is on. Green flag, sector two. Good word. Rodgers is now in the lead.
Holy shit! Didn't even realize because of pits and everything. I'm back in P8! Incident in sector one. Sector one is yellow. So Dave Crew is a P7. I was racing with him. He must have just stopped for a uh, fuel though. So Dave Crew's gonna be on all tires. Driving that McLaren. It's a good car, man. Drove it last season in uh, the GT Masters. Part oh. Scary thing just happened. My fuel required just jumped up to. I need to add 2.7, so it must be just on the cusp of where the leader is and. The uh, <laughs> God, <laughs> what is it? We're all kicking the shit out of our the race, but fast. I got <laughs> love it. The best thing, as well, is usually whenever I'm in an incident with uh, with it, he always watches my races back as well. So, how's it going, MP? Scotland, England, and Ireland after you. Yes. And perhaps a couple Portuguese and Belgian as well. Maybe a few Dutch. And perhaps a Polish or two. Right. What are we laughing at? How much fuel I got to save? I was at 140, cool. Still need to save 2.8 litres of fuel. Dave Crew 16 seconds up the road. I'll recharge it. Well, I'm just going to let you go for it. <laughs> Dude, man. He just watched. Oh, man. Did you watch back his reaction? <laughs> Was it a good one, Randy? Please oh. give us a brief synopsis of his reaction. Actually, let's make it more fun. Give us a brief synopsis of his reaction, purely in emojis. No words, just emojis. Yes, yes. Blink. Pick up the front is now 16 seconds. Nah, don't don't link to his YouTube from here, man. People can find him. You search his name, you'll find him easy enough. I'm sure we all have our own opinion of uh, what happened and who was right. When I entered this corner here side by side. It was a bit of a dive for me, but he was slow, but I was alongside him before, and he did slow us both down, so he might as well have just let us both go. Oh, I've missed it already. Can you put it on the one line, please, rather than uh, in separate lines? All I see, <laughs> All I see is the, the cussing emoji and then the turd emoji. 
Sector 2 is clear. And that was it. Shoes out. Ha ha. Take him on. <laughs> Check out his chat, steal his viewers. <laughs> Battle Royale. Battle of the Sim Racing YouTubers. At the chat. Swear, middle finger. Shit, Halo. Cool. Thanks, Randy. <laughs> God, you're wasted, dude. Break free now! You can drive a fast Audi. Right. Oh shit! But you can't go side by side with a GT1 car. <laughs> Stay that way. Uh, apparently, I'm good for fuel now, but I'm just going to keep an eye on it. You've just done 141, So, just over half an hour left to go. Shouldn't have to do any more fuel saving, but I'm just going to monitor it because I don't really caught out in the last few laps, and all of a sudden I've got to save three liters or something. So. But it looks like it's all good. Blowing walls to shit out of them. Santiago. Thanks, man. This GT1's been a... a bill. It's not that it's been a... but it is a handful. And it does require a lot... quite a lot of concentration. Oh, I certainly wasn't the fastest boy in here tonight. I literally, again, for those who are joining the stream in this last half hour, you join us in the last portion of a three-hour endurance race held by Red, uh, RWB. Almost. Where we've got um, a multi-class race between GT1 cars and the GT3 car class. I'm driving in the GT1 car class in the Koenigsegg CC GT. Currently 8th of 14 uh, yeah, GT1 one cars. And we've got 36 cars in total, so the remaining 20 odd cars are in the GT3 category, the more popular category, probably the most popular category. Oh. In sim racing and quickly becoming a super popular real life racing discipline as well. GT3s to drive in the future. Like I said, starting next week, we're getting back into popular routine races with RR Leagues. The hosts with the most. We've got GT3 Masters Part 2, eight rounds, fortnight apart. Starting next Sunday. And there's also another championship. Being hosted by our league starting on Wednesday, also eight rounds, also a fortnight apart. The WTCR 2019 cars. I think 2018s are in there as well, but yeah, Yellow WTCR category. It's a front wheel drive tour car madness. 60 a cool format as well. I think we've got a shorter sprint race to start. Crash, crash in the sky from qualifying positions, and then the top 10 reverse grid for First a guy, longer sorry, second race. And the GT3 races will be varying lengths depending on the the tracks we're at. Anything from, I believe, 60 minutes up to 1 hour and 40 minutes. Green flag, you're clear. 
Yeah. So opening race for the WTCR on Wednesday coming. I've teamed up with Speed Kills in chat, DB. And we're going to be driving the Honda Civic. And for the GT3 Masters Part 2 on Sunday, the first race is at Road America. And I've teamed up with Andre Bergsma. And we're driving the Mercedes AMG. So every two weeks, we'll have at least two streams from me. Saving again, apparently. Thank you, sir. He's made it quite clear that he's moved right over. Oh, car left. Clear left. Car left. Clear left. Oh my! Yellow flag. Stay sharp. You're clear. Incident clear. Sector three. <laughs> that was the same dive bomb. Can I get an RIP in chat for that dude? Because I don't think he's, uh, I don't think he's getting out of that, that barrier, to be honest. <laughs> Super late breaking maneuver. stage in the race, 25 minutes left on the clock, folks. Yeah, man. We need to get back into Rackfest at some point throughout the year. I figured out the first feedback, by the way. I figured it out. Need to change a few settings and, uh, well, certainly for Thrustmaster users, because I, I know it seemed to be fine for the Fanatec users after the big update that they had a few months ago, but the Thrustmaster users seem to have, like, a bit of an issue. Control panel, man. Change the physics control panel. Feel good to go again. Right, Dave Crew, still 20 seconds ahead. So the chances of me catching him, unless he makes a big mistake. Well, the chances of me catching him are very, very slim. Yeah, I'm safe back to ninth, which is a nice thing. Let's go bring it home. Don't want to jinx it, um, but uh, I've had an alright little race, you know. Not the fastest, lots of silly mistakes, lots of shit like that, just inconsistencies now. But. Uh, no major crashes. Let's try and keep it that way for the next half an hour. Yes, of course, Randy. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just stop what I'm doing right now. Get out thrust master control panel and show you what's up. Coming up on a slower class car. Whoa. Do more in flat cap, but we'll do. Look at that organized man. Yeah, those 
uh, rank fest fun nights were so much fun. Is this the bomb master in front? Dan Perry. He's back from the grave. On your right, clear right. Look at his car is looking a little worse for wear. I'm surprised you can even see over that crumpled bonnet. exactly what happened to him or if it was just uh, like an anomaly from like the pits and all that stuff he was running in p5 and now he's currently in p13 give him a little flash let him know I'm coming I wonder how he's been finding it Super safe, I still need to save. I keep my, my fuel required keeps on fluctuating between you need to save one and a half liter to you're fine, you don't you've got one and a half liters too much. So I'm just gonna save that extra one and a half liters just to be sure. I guess it's all to do with where the front runner is of the whole race and where he is positioned relative to the timer. Sector 3, Sector 3 is yellow. Think P5 has been to end, so that's a 1. Sector 3 is clear. That's 20 minutes to go. Left side. Clear left. Oh, a little bit of a lock up there. Sector 3 is yellow. Oh, he's winking at us from right from, from, from behind. He's missing a, missing a headlight. I've got a feeling he might have had a reflex sector three. Bit of a hug with the armco, a headbutt with the armco. Hey, happy. What's up, man? What does RWB stand for? I believe RWB stands for Racing Without Borders, I think. Borderless Racing. Yeah, it's the club that's organized this event this evening. And they organize many, many more. You guys should go and check them out. They are UK based, but they have sim racers and events for everyone worldwide. Let's check them out. Yellow flag sector three. While you're at it, shameless plug. Check out the Paradigm Shift Discord server. It's my Discord server. Links in the description. Check out my homeboys over in RR Leaks as well. Check out their Discord server. They've got a really sweet web forum as well. And for anyone who's just joining in the last 18 minutes of the race, hello, thanks for joining. My name's Jack. This is the end of a three hour endurance race. It's not over yet, but we're getting there. If you're enjoying the stream and you haven't already, Green flag, clear left. give it a little thumbs up. That'd be much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, you'll see more stuff in the future. New leak starting next week. Consider subscribing. Thank you.
No more plugs tonight. It was a long one though, so you know. Hatzer. Slower class car ahead. Front charge for position. Okay. Your left front going into person. Uh, next week, happy RR leagues. I've got two brand new championships starting. GT3 and WTCR. But they were announced on January 1st and were almost instantaneously fully booked. But if you want to join, get yourself signed up to the forum. Sector 3 is clear. And sign up as a reserve driver. They're a very, a very organized bunch, so. Should one of the registered drivers right. not show up, then guest drivers. Oh, it's okay! It's okay! Oh, Jesus! I'm way offline! Okay, we're fine. Yeah, what was this thing? Should, uh, should any of the registered drivers not be able to make it, and the reserves will get called upon. So yeah, get yourself signed up on the forum and sign up as a reserve. Oh! That was, uh... Shitty, man. <laughs> You're gonna make me, like, actually erase you, are you? someone else, but... I mean, it is on me to pass safely, but I mean, you know, when that Tartan Porsche as well, I mean, fucking hell, I thought you were on my side, man. But yeah, clearly telegraphed, he went to the left-hand side of the track, so I was like, okay, I'll telegraph, I'm going to the right. And still, take the racing line on the right, and, like, forcing me to slow down. Anyway, enough of that. I still need to bloody save fuel. What the hell is happening here, man? Since I'm not actually racing anyone, I should really concentrate on doing that. Let's do a big, massive lifting coasts for a good few turns. Especially here, because... Uh, after the hairpin going up and over this corner and then up through Aquaman Rally. Terrible place to pass the GT3s. Coming up on a slower car. Bit of short shifting. to the right. I'm going to telegraph to the left. All right. Yellow flag in sector one. To your right. Oh, oh. I'm all right. I'm safe. I'm safe. Jesus. Oh. Not safe. Me in the flashing. Me in the chat. Yeah, everyone's flashed.
I do have enough time for splash and dash. Yeah, what's the time back to car behind me? 1.24, I do, yeah. Thanks for the heads up, Randy, dude. Coming up on a slower class car. I'll set it up on the next straight. I mean, it's literally, literally right now it's on 0 0.1 fuel to add. But, like, it's just, it ain't going down. I think I'll be fine, you know. I have 25.9 liters of fuel, which should give me 8.4 laps, apparently. There is 11 and a half minutes on the clock. Our lap time is 1 minute 40. Top. You could with numbers, right? I don't know if you guys heard from the RWB chat and some other people questioning uh, Mark Peterman's shenanigans. Busy on track now, ladies and gentlemen. Time to yield to on the blue flags to Rigel and the GT40 in front, currently sitting at P4. Always busy on track right now, I tell you. It's good, man. It's exciting. Car right, right side's clear. Dude, but like, 
You slowed yourself down as well, you know? minutes and six seconds left. Fuel saving here. Big boat there. Yeah, the Bentley boat. Expensive, but very boat like. You're correct. Oh my god, this. The roof in front of us is... <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to pass, man. I'm terrified. Of what might happen. Oh! Oh my All right, god! Go. I've been sandwiched All with right. this guy right. Nightflight behind as well in the Ford GT, man. He is... A lap down on me. I'm fuel saving and he keeps trying to, like, jump up here. If you can make a safe, clean pass, I will more than happily lift and let you pass, dude. But let's try not to take each other out by racing unnecessarily. Right, fuel needed to add. Minus 0.3%. Should be good. We should be good. Yellow flag sector three. Yellow flag, stay sharp. Oh. Green flag, all clear. Oh. Oh my god, this guy nearly ran to the back of me. You're a lot down, dude. Stop telegraphing yourself like that. There's absolutely no need. I think it should be good for fuel. Cheers. 11.5 meters remaining. Yeah. It just depends, to be honest, where the leader is, because if I have to do four laps, then I need to save a little bit more. So I'm gonna do that, because I don't want to get caught out. And I think I'm gonna let this guy go. Oh my god, he nearly went to the back of me again. Yeah, I'm gonna let this guy go. Yellow flag. Oh. Car left. Thunder, thunder steered anyway, so. Yeah, left. On you go, bud. Green 
<laughs> yeah, probably cracked up in the, the Prosecco. Nah, he stopped, uh, he stopped drinking, man. Or, like, seriously knocked it on the head. Six laps estimate is fuel remaining. If uh, the checkered flag doesn't come out on this lap, then I'm gonna. Cheers. worth the fuel. Maybe one more lap, because if I pit and then it's only the out lap to go that I, then I had enough. That'd be terrible. Sector one is yellow. Yellow flag. Oh! Somebody else in the... Kitchen in clear. Green flag. Sector one is clear. people were doing like what I suggested earlier where they did the first the, the first two stints were long stints and the first pit stop they changed tires as well as fuel and then they did the second st stint and they just did fuel they sorry the third stint they just did fuel just took fuel and uh, double stack the uh, the tires yeah I can do one more lap right now what you're going to do, because I've got enough for one and a half lap, apparently. But if it doesn't, the checker flag doesn't come out on this lap, then I got a bit. One more lap to go. One more lap to go. As long as that checker flag right, comes out. Left. No. As long as that checker flag comes out at some point during this lap. Oh, there we go. The checker flag is out, folks. Three hours. Watch out, look together. Don't need to make an emergency pit stop. Ah, oh, I've got rake up me hole. Go on up, one. This is dead. Oh my god, my telemetry is red and flashing at me. To go around once more? Nah. Push it out. Yeah. I just have to go to the start. Now that the, the checkered flag's out, I just have to cross the line, yeah? Or do I have to pit? And uh, take more fuel and go around once more. What? Checkered flag last lap. Nah, I'm just gonna, just gonna risk it for a biscuit. Quiet. Yeah. That's what I always thought. Just, you know when you, when you 
you second guess yourself because you've been driving a race for three hours and you don't want to just want to completely ruin the whole thing. Famous last words, here we go. Start finish straight, not paying. 1.3 litres remaining. Seventh position. That's the end of the race. Seventh Never position, mind. apparently. <laughs> Three hours. Three fucking hours, dudes. <laughs> the relief. Right. <laughs> oh, I'll just see. Nice. Thank you, Flag Cap. Thank place. you, Andy Strawman. Thank you, Good Clive. Thank you, Thiago. Well, um, I, listen, just keep in mind, only it's everyone's positions provisional that we check the timings. Um, I made a boo boo in telling you there'd be a counter because when I tested this, what I didn't realise was I had crossed the line and I, it was a new lap and I thought it was a new pit counter. So, I personally have released a minute early, I realised when I had a minute gap, so I had to try and make that up, so I'll, we'll look at the times around the pit stop and make sure that I've always got a fair amount. As I said, I was worried about it, because I think it's a minute before the pit stop. Seventh! Well, well done, Seventh. Man. that's off, man. Congratulations, everyone. That's very I'll take the seventh, man. I'll finish with 62 litres. I think you might have re released a bit early, Pinners. I uh, know, mate. Kind of the perfection, me and my boy. For 36 51. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to disconnect from that. I'm going to jump into the Paradigm Shift voice chat. Woo! <laughs> Speed kills. <laughs> oh man, that was good. Right, hang on. To, give me, give me two seconds just to get out of this. Man, that was intense, man. Three hours. Where are we at here? We'll see if, uh, we'll see if Rick Binnersley and P Hindle join us in the chat for a little. For a little post race debate. I'll send them a little. Hi, oh, mate. Oh, he's in! Howdy doody! You know, it was a long race, dude. That was. Give me two seconds, I'll be right with you, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rick Bittersley in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Switch this on to uh, not have to push the talk. There we go. Oi! Well done for sticking with it, by the way, Anna. Uh, yeah, how'd you get on, man? Um, you were P5 for a long was, time, and I couldn't work out if it was like a if it was like a like a something to do with like the pit strategies or what, man. Tell me what happened. I think I messed up, basically. Uh, I done me. I went in the pits and I was. Thanks. I think I was leading or, or second when I went into the pits. Thanks so much, Clive. Man, have a good night. Cheers. Um, and then. Is he see Frosty does your channel? I done me pit stop. Frosty Bird. Out. Yeah, he knows the channel. <laughs> and I, because I've been obviously sat in the in the pits for fifteen minutes, Later, the tires don't Cheers, cold, man. aren't they? And then I spam. Oh no. So. It fucked my car, so I had to go and pit to repair it. And then, when I went into the pits, I double pressed my pit limiter, and then got a no. drive through. Oh, fuck it is. So I had to go in again. So I think I probably would have ended up around about maybe, I think probably fifth, sixth, or seventh if I hadn't have done that. Yeah, man, you're you're in good steed, man. You're you're. Yeah, I saw you up there. What what happened? Uh, he got the he got like every possible bad thing to happen happen to Rick, poor boy. <laughs> no, I crashed when I came out of the pits oh, for, after my 15 minute start, and then when I went into had to go and repair my car, and then when I went in, then I double pressed my pit limiter bullet, and then I just did a tiny speed in the pit lane. Oh, so you had a drive through as well. Yeah. Right. So yeah, it fucked me right up. But I was trying to work out what. Those guys in front were doing on their strategy. 
Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people did their did their 15 minute break in the first pit stop. Yeah, some people did. Yeah, loads of the like, GT1s did. Like half of like, the GT1s did. All oh, right, well, like Peterman, I think when I went into the pits, I was probably about 15 seconds behind him. For me, I did two stops. Yeah, so I come out of the pits. Yeah, Yuri and, like and Orioles are both. 55 seconds Who's behind the Discord, him. man? Come join us, happy. I think he did a one-stopper. Really? And I'm thinking, well, how the fuck's he done a one-stopper? Because your fuel don't last that long. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to find out what what they actually did. Because how, how we've all of a sudden made up 50 seconds. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. How, how long does it take to change your tyres? Uh, 30, seconds. Thirty seconds. So yeah, that would. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I might. He may have not changed his tyres then when he pitted, and then it might have been like forty seconds or something when I got to the end of the. Uh, what, you know, after I came out of the pits, because I changed my tyres on both stops. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit weird. Um, what happened to you, Peter? Oh, so I just um, I just made loads of mistakes in the in the first stint in about the first ten laps. I just made loads of mistakes, you know, just silly little overcooking oh. it at the at the squiggle and you know spinning out. I probably spun out about eight times, and oh, and then what happened is I got caught by the GT ones, and then I got caught by the GT twos, the GT threes. And then, then it all turns into a bit of a mare of just blue <laughs> flag hell. You know? But um, yeah, I made a little bit of progress from 21st to 15th, I think I was at the end. Oh, it's not too yeah. bad. No, nah, it's pretty shit to be honest. <laughs> I, I, had, I, no. I had, no, I had, I had, um, I had quite good pace because when you were behind me, it took you quite a long time to catch me. Yeah, my engine was fucked. Oh, oh well, no! That's because you've been over-revving over it. Man. You should no, no you should I take. I damaged it when I crashed. Shit! You mm -hmm. should you should take uh, you should take solace at the fact that like you just did a three-hour race, man, from start to finish. Like, don't worry about your positions. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, that's pretty <laughs> awesome. Like, three hours, actually, man. Actually, I think. Are you I was actually CDB really buy? looking forward to this right? And then <laughs> at the start, it it was alright bit of a fuck up they sort of went and then stopped so then i had to go on the grass to avoid people i got passed by one or two cars i think on the start line because of that and then the guy who was in front of me he was like holding me up and i could see everyone else pulling up pulling away and i'm thinking i could go with them i can go with them he was like holding me up but then it was just a bit i wasn't too keen on like making a a, a, a strong move on him because I didn't know I've never raced with him before and then when I went, got close to him I thought he's going to take me off or something here. so I was dead careful behind him but like I just lost <laughs> so much time because of that who was um, that? Um, I don't know what his name was he ended up I think he disconnected or something in the end <sighs> like um, it was going along and he, he had his he had his foot on the brake but like you know down the straight or whatever but then it wasn't just quite enough so I could get past cleanly without making a, taking a bit of risk. And it was just doing me head in. It was like lost. It took me like 15 minutes to get past him or something like that. Oh, man. So Intense. I was like... You know, I was like... But then after that, everyone else had gone. So it was, like, it was dead boring then for me, to be quite honest. But whereas it, could, it potentially could have been a lot better race, really. Yeah, it was boring, a bit boring for me. Um, other than whilst until the pit stops have unravelled, you don't know exactly where you are. So I was like plumb last, uh, but I figured that I'd made some I'm places not working up by tomorrow, having flat cap. By I'm off tomorrow. taking my long pit stop in my first stop. I am back to work on Monday. I have been in work. I had done no maths, so I had to do the maths in my well. first stop. And then I, my second stop was determined by how much, how much fuel I, oh, I needed to take out of, uh, to still have in the car, 
so that I would just have enough to get to the end of the race when it tried to fill up with a full tank because I couldn't be because I know if I try and dick around with the amount of fuel whilst I'm driving around I crash. <laughs> That's yeah. what I did. I did a bit of that without it crashing though, thankfully. Yeah, because uh, I. Uh, what are you about what are you seven, Jack? Yeah, so I finished P7 overall. I uh, my the time I set on the leaderboard, I could go a bit faster than, but I didn't set like I didn't know I could go faster, so I didn't set another time before they were like finalized. But in practice, I was like, I was less. I was about, I think I was about half a second off of the fastest boys. So I did a low twenty nine, uh, a low, a low uh, thirty. What? Because what was it? One forty the laps. Yeah, one a low thirty nine. Then I did because yeah, they were doing like. Um, 38s, 138s in the GT1s. So I managed to get a low 39. And during the race, um, I was like 140s, 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 but I did start, I started like fourth from the back of the GT1s. And man, you saw all the shit that happened at the beginning. Like somebody obviously didn't know it was a, a, like a manual formation lap. Right. Like, that's why I came on the chat and was like, uh, somebody like, doesn't understand what's going on they just raced right up the middle of everyone crashed into someone and then disconnected and it was like what and then i had rodders <laughs> came on and he was like oh we'll just we'll keep going we'll keep going and i was like okay right this is a bit all right whatever but i mean everyone seemed fine um but uh yeah when we actually started the race like it was a front running group of about eight cars and then everyone else and i was a couple of people deep in the in the everyone else and I was just super careful over the first little bit, and um, and that, that dropped me back about 15 seconds to the front running group. I managed to like pick them off first few laps one by one, um, but then like pretty much the first two stints of the race, I was just stuck 15 seconds behind the front running cars. And I couldn't catch up. Um, I mean, my first pit stop, I double stinted the first set of tires and just took fuel which gave me quite a few positions, but halfway through the second stint, it was like under 50%, under 40% tire started to get sketchy and under 15%, the car is like, get these tires off of me. So there you go, under 15% tires, the car is like not fun to drive. Yeah, not really. Nah, and um, so I pit, I, it got to, there was one hour 15 left and I was like, I asked chat, I was like, how long did I get on that first tank of fuel? And they were like, an hour exactly. So I was like, right, I'm pitting early. Because I still had, I think I could have went maybe two more laps in the second stint. But at the time, I was like, oh, I risk crashing, man. I don't want to do that. So I pit, I pit early, took my 50 minute break with one hour 15 left. So then had fresh set of boots and a full tank for an hour. But I didn't. I didn't take into consideration, and I don't think chat took into consideration that the first hour there was a very slow, very non-fuel consuming lap to start the race. So I had to fuel save for the last hour. Uh, but I made it! Made it across the line with less than a litre left. And it got me P7. Jeez, that's the, close, man. The, yeah, man. It was tight, like. But uh, I was loving it, man. I had a fucking amazing race. I think it was it was excellent. But I'd need to I need to stretch, man. My back is a bit like east right now. And have a beer, a freezing cold beer. That's what I need. Yeah, definitely. Can I have one? Gallon of it. <laughs> Did you drink that bottle of prosecco, Pete? Always. I am, as it happens. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm already drinking it. That's good. I'm glad you are. Uh, gentlemen, I will leave that with you there. Amazing racing tonight, dudes. Really, really enjoyed it. More endurance racing in the future, eh? Like, I think uh, more and more communities are starting to do, like, even if they're just one-off endurance races. Um, like, if it's one every month or whatever. Like, I, I love them. I don't know what you guys think, but I, it's just a different challenge. I think they're totally amazing. Yeah, I think... Um... That, the two hour one the other week, I think that was a lot better. Yeah, it was maybe because everyone was in the same category as well. Motor class is cool, but I think you need to have like the right track and like Emily wasn't bad to be honest. But um, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not I sure. Think if you if you've got the same class, I think it's a lot better for everyone. There's a lot more racing going on throughout yeah. the field. Yeah, that's true. Thanks, uh, Randy. 
That's what you were doing, dude. Split up, like, because, Where like, you know, like Peterman and all that. And those fast boys that, that was in and Jake and them and in the GT3, they, you know, they would have all been mixing at the front if we were all in the same class, no matter what class it was. So, yeah. It made it better for everyone, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think so, man. I think so. Anyway, I'm going to yeah, bust the move for now, guys. I'll catch you with you soon, okay? Yeah, me too. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. guys. Cheers, cheers, guys. Uh, right, there we go. Man, that was a that was a good evening. That was a good evening's racing and chatting, everyone in chat. Thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, that was really, really cool. Um, as far as... Hang on a minute, what am I doing here? Give this away. Here we go. As far as... Um, as far as <laughs> first stream of the new year goes, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> that, was, that was a really fun race, man. Uh, exhilarating. Uh, Mark Flackapp uh, was a V Entertainment stream. Good race and good battle. Great for the channel as well. Lots of new peeps rocking up in the Discord. That is true. Everyone who's new to the Discord, thank you so much for coming. Uh, my Discord is the Paradigm Shift Discord. The link is in the description below. Uh, come and join us. Um, hope you enjoyed the, the race, man. Uh, like I've mentioned a hundred million times already, uh, two brand new championships starting next week. Wednesday, we got WT CR and Sunday we've got uh, GT3 both hosted by RR leagues uh, it'll be Wednesday and Sunday every two weeks uh, from now for the next three months or so um, so I'll be streaming those consistently with the odd endurance race and fun race and fun evening all in there as well so tune in for that drop a like on the video if you haven't done already subscribe if you're new thanks very much for watching my name's Jack I'll see you in the next one peace bye